We are back with our big board, Dr. Richard Besser, right here at the table for our first story, which is uh, these new new details about the sudden death of, of Bill Paxton, a new, newly released death certificate, and it shows he actually had a stroke following heart surgery. That's right. He had a stroke 11 days after having had heart surgery, and it had heart surgery for two reasons. One is he had something called an aortic aneurysm, which is an enlargement of the big artery that comes off your heart and heads out to your body. The other is he had surgery to replace a defective aortic valve. So our hearts are, are pumps and they're valves that allow the blood to flow one direction and not the other. He had a condition called bicuspid aortic valve. And let me show you what that looks like. In a normal heart, the aortic valve has three, has, has three leaflets three little things there that, that are fine that, that keep that valve in place. For him, he had something called bicuspid valve, so he had only two of those leaflets. Over time, those thicken, and they don't allow the blood, the blood flow to, to flow properly. And as you get older, you have to have that replaced. Mm. It's the most common heart defect that people are born with. About 1% of people have it. If someone in your family has it, then 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 uh, you should screen other family members. How do you detect if you have it, and what do you do if you do? Well, most people are fine during childhood right. and early adulthood. Later, your doctor may hear a heart murmur, an unusual sound, or you may start to get to the point where you're getting short of breath or having trouble with exercise. If you have those symptoms, it can be any number of things, but you should definitely get it checked out. Normally, people have this surgery all the time and don't have problems. It's pretty routine, yeah. right? It is. Unfortunately, he had wow. had a. A horrible outcome. We, we learned about that as, as we were heading down to the red carpet at the Oscars and his fellow actors. He is so beloved, mm -hmm. so beloved. Yeah. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. Now to the battle over one of the most famous franchises in NBA history and sports history, really. The Lakers, home to legends like Kobe Bryant, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Magic Johnson, the list goes on and on. Well, now caught in the middle of a family power struggle that is threatening to tear the team apart. ESPN's dapper Bruce Bowen, knew he was going to have that bow tie. He's with us now. So this is about the three siblings, Jerry Buss's children. Tell us what's going on here, Bruce. Well, what you have is a terrible situation right now, Robin, whereas because it's family, it's creating more drama. You have a situation where Jimmy, Jen, excuse me, Jenny Buss had to remove her brother Jim Buss from basketball operations. The Lakers have only won 65 games and lost 181 mm. within the past three seasons. So you understand, whenever things like that happen, change needs to happen, and that's why she went out and got Magic Johnson, yep. a Laker legend, to come in and now handle the responsibilities of basketball operations. How does this filter through down to the players when there's this turmoil in the front office like this? Well, in this situation, it shows the players that now accountability is coming to, to, to the forefront. And you need that accountability. In L.A., where there's so many distractions, not all players are built like Kobe Bryant or Magic Johnson. Not all players have that folks that say, I need to work on my game as compared mm. to hanging out with some of the stars of L.A. So how do you see this all coming to an end, Bruce? Where do we go from here? Well, you know, the, the, the thing is this. Jenny went ahead and blocked their attempt at trying to get her off the board of Lakers. So when you have that situation, Dr. Jerry Buss had a vision. He had a vision back in 84 of signing Michael, excuse me, Magic Johnson to a 25-year contract. Understand that he wouldn't play all those years, but he could be in the front office and they could utilize his basketball IQ as far as allowing the Lakers to continue to be that story organization. Mm -hmm. Now they're getting back to that but if they wouldn't have done that if she wouldn't have blocked it someone else could have come in and fired Ma Magic Johnson and then what will we be talking about as far as the Lakers are concerned so is Magic gonna turn it around is Magic gonna is he the man that's gonna work his magic Magic is going to work his magic. That beautiful smile of his, he just has that aura <laughs> about him. But at the same time, he's a competitor. Yeah. He's an original dream teamer. He's an all-time 50 greatest players. And he's a guy that understands what it takes to win championships. His basketball IQ is off the charts. It certainly mm -hmm. is, as is yours, our friend. Thank you so much, Bruce. Look, look at that. Just pull on the bow tie for us a little bit. Just let us pull on that bow tie. <laughs>